Tears of the Kingdom comes out, but I have to say, I almost, I felt like I wasn't ready for Tears of the Kingdom. There's honestly a lot of things I didn't do in Breath of the Wild. So my plan was to sit out and do a lot of those things, get fresh back into combat. Yeah, here's what I did to get ready for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So something I basically didn't touch at all when I was playing Breath of the Wild was literally any of the mini bosses, so that was pretty much first on my list. I did beat one of the flame, like Ignis Talus's a bit post game and probably like the hardest one because it's on that little tiny bit of land. So I decided to go and fight a regular one and the frost one because <laughs> yeah, post game is the only time I've touched any of these guys and not just ran away. Aside from again, early on I had a lot of trouble with the controls adjusting from Age of Calamity being quite different. The main talus was quite easy and the frost talus wasn't too bad because I just shot flame arrows and such at it. But then I decided to do one of the tests of strengths I ignored, which was very good because I ended up getting a lot of items. I definitely <laughs> didn't do a good job and ate lots of food, um, but I did eventually figure out that I could use the um, ice blocks to block it. Uh, my main goal with doing this was to mostly not use the Sheikah Slate if I didn't have to because you don't because you don't have the Sheikah Slate abilities and the champion abilities in Tears of the Kingdom. So I didn't really want to get re-familiar with that or rely on that much at all. But I did power through. And then my next job was to get some Hinoxes. And um, in the, the time that I somehow haven't managed to get my video done, my husband has actually finished Breath of the Wild. And he'd found three Hino the three brother Hinoxes in an area. So that's where I knew where to find them. And that's what I went for. Uh, I did a trick that I learnt about, sh again, like using the elemental things to your advantage, so shooting um, a shock arrow at the black one's metal anklet. <clears throat> and I did pretty good with not taking too much damage, but again, all my stuff was like pretty super overpowered, so <laughs> it, it wasn't too hard. But it was good to get that experience, and I mostly avoided getting hit aside from my tree attack. Then, believe it or not, I have never fought a Lionel before. Um, and yes, you can avoid getting into the fights with them in Hyrule Castle if you just go around, uh, which is what I did. So I went to like the first line you encounter in the game, and I did technically beat it. I had like a lot of trouble figuring out its attack patterns, and I just kept taking damage after damage. Like I'd obviously use Mephis Grace, a fairy, food and food, so I don't feel super proud of myself at all, but I did technically beat one. Um, I also didn't know about the headshots, so that might have helped. Um, although, archery is another skill that I had to work on, as I went to um, see the dragon on the mountain that needs help, which was a lot less intense than I was expecting. Like, I, my sibling had marked on the map for me years ago, and I ignored it because I was just like, oh, that just seems like something dangerous. By the time I finally get up there, I'm like, you're not really in any danger so long as you've got a decent amount of stamina, which I have two wheels. Uh, the first time, which I didn't record, I had trouble with it. But when I went to do it properly, I did use less than 30 arrows. So that's pretty good. And most of the shots I missed were the, like, I wasn't even close enough. <laughs> so... Um, and I know at least the, the sort of updrafts, um, bullet time thing should still apply in the new game. Then I went to fight, uh, Mulduga because I'd never done that before. This is the one where I was kind of like, uh, cause like, again, I said I didn't want to use the Sheikah Slate abilities, but I didn't know how you were meant to fight them without it, really. So the, so that's the time I kind of gave up on that. And then again, that wasn't too hard because... I'm going to assume that, I didn't know where the Mulder King was in specifically, but I'm going to assume that at least one of them, you don't have all those safe areas to go to, so the fight would be a bit tougher. But I knew it, it was an enemy I wanted to fight, because we'd seen similar enemies in the trailer. And then after that, I took a break to, because there is one thing, so, and I skip for a tiny spoiler, I know that the horses save over to Tis the Kingdom, so I want to get Ganondorf's horse. And that actually wasn't quite as hard as I'd been led to believe. Like, I'd even prepared a bunch of extra stamina stuff and I didn't need to use it. Really, the hard part with both of these horse-catching things was that um, I had to kill a pona. So <laughs> I have two opponents because you can 
just get multiple of the amiibo. Um, so I killed one to make space in my um, inventory. <laughs> but the hardest part is like getting them back to home. Like to the stable, sorry, to register them because it's usually just mountain stuff in the way and then one of them was like had to go past two Lionels which had me really worried. So I got that. Um, and then a bit later, uh, after doing some other things, I went and got Zelda's horse. Not that it's going to do her a lot of good. Well, sorry, Zelda's horse's grandkid. You know, <laughs> not that it's going to be much help to her, but, you know, I might as well have a all. And then I did some practice with horse riding because, I don't know, like, I know they're, it looks like they're at least a little bit of horse combat based on the trailer. So I went to do the jumping practice, which my horse was terrible at, and I wasn't happy. And then a bit later, I went to do the archery practice, which we were both very bad at. Um, thankfully, I found another way to get some archery practice in, so I did that. And one of the smaller things I wanted to do, like I said, was some of those games. So I went to do the shield sliding game, which I feel like Daruk's protection kind of just ruined that. I don't know. I couldn't remember how to turn those things off. So I feel like I didn't get the genuine experience. But somehow, I was bad the first course, but the second course my first try, I beat her time and I got the reward. So I'm not really sure how that works. But I know shield surfing is also a skill that's important for Tears of the Kingdom. And then, like I said, because of my many reasons and excuses, mostly just not having the time I thought I did to do, like, the DLC and stuff, I had, and like, you know, it's the day before Tears of the Kingdom comes out and I had, like, one thing left to do. So I put it up to a vote on Twitter whether I, for the last minute, do I do Eventide Island or the Great Plateau in Master Mode. And now it's back at an even split. But when I started to do it, it was um, just one vote towards Great Plateau Master Mode above the, like the other one. Like, um, So I had to do the Great Plateau in Master Mode. <laughs> Whereas I honestly think I probably should have done Eventide Island instead. But then again, maybe not, because, like, I have... I don't know if it, it takes off your heart or not, but, like, I think you can get your abilities and stuff, so probably better not to, because, again, I don't want to be used to being overpowered. I'm trying to get ready for going back at a lower level and things are going to be a lot tougher in this upcoming game. So I did the Great Plateau in Master Mode, and I mostly ran away. I... Didn't the only time only one enemy I actually fought was one of the little guardians in like the last shrine. Um, other one I pushed into water. I sort of tried to get into some fights to try and take their weapons off them, but that didn't work. So, but I did get one arrow, which was useful. After I had some incidents climbing where there was clearly a prescripted path to climb, and then I didn't notice it. <laughs> until after like 10 20 minutes of time completely wasted so i eventually went that way did the shrine and got a bow thankfully so i could hunt down a bird to get the recipe to get the doublet so i don't have to worry about the food in the cold area because i th there was a boar at one point and it despawned and it never came back so i was like what am i gonna do thankfully not an issue did get one arrow did reload <laughs> because I missed my shot, but I I made the food, I got there, um, I did one in I oh no, I also killed a Bokoblin, because near the ice bridge I went that way, like I went you know, the shortest way possible, and there's a Bokoblin on one of those floating platforms, and I had some fire arrows, so I just set the platform on fire, and then that all that came apart, and he died, and then I died crossing the bridge, so when I loaded my save, he was dead, but the platform was still there, so I could get the reward. Which is, uh, yeah, I noticed some interesting things about the way the saves work. Like, the horses would be in different spots and things like that. So, it's kind of weird. And, of course, I still had a few more things to check off on my list. So, I made sure to do that so that I was fully trained. Especially, like, in swordsmanship, archery, getting ready for the new crafting system, working as a team. All of that was very important. And it was really fun to, like I said, I was I kept getting distracted and nearly playing it like it was normal, even though, again, I didn't need to get cork seeds, I didn't need to do all this stuff. Um, so I was trying to stick to my goals, but it was f fun to get back into Breath of the Wild and play around just like a little bit enough that I could feel confident, ready to pick up the game. Because I know it's going to be hard. <laughs> Before I forget, what are your last minute predictions? I reckon there's not really going to be many Guardians 
in this because clearly we've done away with a lot of that technology probably to worry about it not getting recorrupted. But I reckon there's going to be at least one Guardian fight and it's going to be this guy. If you know, you know. So let me know what you've done to prepare yourself for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thanks for watching. Bye.